Hi, LinkedIn. I wanted to talk about what's your story. Now, depending on who's asking the question, that's going to affect a lot on how you answer. I was asked this recently in one of my interviews, and this was for a position in content. So I thought about it and I said, you know what? I think I have subconsciously been creating content for a very long time, much longer than I actually realized. See, it began in England. I've always had a fascination with stories. And even as a child, I was writing stories. I actually even found a piece of my writing from must have been when I was 12 years old or something, where I made our dog Teddy into a character who happened to be an alcoholic. <laughs> Why? I don't know. And it was his story. And then when I thought about it further, I realized I have been creating content in my bachelor's degree years before I realized consciously that this is a career I want to follow. So for instance, I worked for the International Rotary Club of Helsinki. At the time, I had no idea what an International Rotary Club was. All I knew from a quick Google was it was a group of tends to be older gentlemen who are in the later years of their career, businessmen. And I remember thinking to myself, hmm, there could be a connection there. If you do a good job, you could make a good connection. And that's actually what happened to me. But I took the project on because nobody else wanted it. Everyone, which is quite common, I think in society, always wants to go for the coolest thing. We always want the latest iPhone or, you know, the latest technology. Nobody wants to go for something they've never heard of. I wanted it because I thought it was a challenge. And I remember I created content because I decided that we had to arrange an event for their training elect seminar. And I decided I was going to interview uh, some members and find out their story. I wanted to know why did you ever join this and why did you stay so long? What do you get out of it? So that's where I interviewed my old boss and uh, we had it on an ongoing loop during the breaks so that new members could see why did others join and it could potentially motivate them for why they should become part of the Rotary Club. I then did this again in uh, when I worked for an umbrella organization. I, I did a project for an umbrella organization in the health industry and we had to create marketing material. So I went to the bottom of the chain and I interviewed recovering alcoholics and drug addicts. And I wanted to know what did this organization do for you? How did they help you? And then we turned their story into marketing material. So see, I was creating content long before I realized it's uh, something I wanna do. <clears throat> and so I told this in a shorter version and, and then I said, um, unless I would have become unemployed, I don't know if I would have gone on LinkedIn and started writing. It took a very emotional event to make me write. I mean, I'd always liked writing before, but uh, would I have gone and written my story about being unemployed had it not happened? It was then when I started writing and my network began growing. And this is where I thank each and every one of you who have followed me and liked me and so forth because that is where the subconscious came to the forefront and I realized, actually, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying creating content. I'm liking writing, I'm liking doing these videos. I'm liking that I grow and I become better as I continue doing it. And then it hit me that one day, like I did in a previous video where I saw that advert saying, can you tell a good story? And I said, yes, yes I can. And I went and applied and now I'm, trying to apply again and I'm trying to get a job in this industry. But that's my story. My story developed this summer because of LinkedIn. And LinkedIn has changed. I have gotten some questions like, isn't LinkedIn just a business platform? Is it appropriate to talk about such personal things? Yes, it is. LinkedIn changed when Corona came. It used to be very just business oriented and no one was really sharing anything personal and we all kept it at one level. And then COVID-19 came and part of business was a lot of people became unemployed and they turned to LinkedIn to network and also to talk and support others. And that has been my biggest support system this year is LinkedIn. There are I, the people I talk to, I, a lot of them I've never met in person but they've talked to me on a constant basis. They've liked my materials. 
They are linking me to possible jobs. LinkedIn is now a part of my story and why I came to pursue a career in content marketing. So that, that's my story. And that's thanks to LinkedIn. So I just wanted to do a quick video to explain my story. And um, yeah, you should think about it. What's your story? What did COVID-19 actually do for you? And did it, did it create a new story for you? That, this has not always been my story. This changed. This is new. But I'm really proud to own that story. And that is why I want to pursue this career.